announced like seven persons. Say the coast is clear. The coast is clear. The coast is clear. The coast is clear. Begin to announce to them the coast is clear. Don't stop doing that. Say the coast is clear. Seven persons say the coast is clear. Announce it to them. Say the coast is clear. Hallelujah. God says something to me as we are singing. There is this song, I don't know it. How many of you know that song? What is the meaning of that song? Do you know it? We have people, two people, people here. Do you know that song? Ogo no go maya. The knock knife of battles. Jesus is the long what? The long sword for battle. Is it Igbo song or Iquiri song? It's Igbo song. One Igbo man saying an Iquiri song for a year. Hallelujah. I know Ogologo means long. Isn't it? So we are going to sing that song. But before I sing that song, God said to me, I was happy when I heard that thing. God said to somebody, say, for your deliverance to be completed, you are going to do to people that afflict your past, your present, and your future. You are going to do to them what they have done to you. He said, if you do not do it for them, it will not deliver you. Do you understand that? So in other words, it's going to be tooth for tooth. Do you understand that? Because what God said to me, God said, because of the affliction of my people, I am hungry. Then he said, if you refuse to do to them what they have done to you, then he will not do to you what he's supposed to do for you. If you are in the category of let my enemy live long to see what I will become, I pity you. You need to move out of that category. Do you understand? You have been in a particular state of life where things is not just working the way it's supposed to work for you. But God is saying, I should tell you today, He will put you out in the name of Jesus. I want to congratulate another person here today. When we are singing this particular song, do you know we sang it here? Then I saw the heavens open. I saw one part of sky dropping at currencies. Then I asked my PA, I asked my PA, I said, there was a news I read some time ago that fish was coming down from the sky in Thailand. I was asking how important that could be. Then God said, if you do not believe the news in Thailand, you can believe the manner that I rain down. Do you understand that? So God said, you are here. Many people have promised you that we are going to send you money from abroad. But because of, I don't know what happened. But God said, now is the time that I will fulfill what you have said in the name of Jesus. Hey. Hey. God said, he's using this meeting. To bring down that money. Amen. Do you understand that? I don't know who is here today. Somebody has promised you to help you. But each time they want to help you, there will be a problem. I command if your amen can be louder than any other person. I declare in the name of Jesus. Let them help come in the name of Jesus. Hey. Hey. I don't know for how many years you have been battling with the battle of your life. I declare prophetically today. The Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? I declare prophetically. Let the order of God change the order of your problem in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. A particular sister, she said to me, Sir, after I heard your broadcast of yesterday, she called me yesterday night. Say, Sir, I was scared. I was what? I was scared. Then I began to see the carelessness in the life of myself and my siblings. She's in the U.S. right now. But she started the story from the beginning. From the step six to herself and to the brother. And God linked a problem to her father. God said, your grandmother said that your father did not take care of me. Then none of the children will take care of him. Each time they are planning to take care of their father, Something will happen. I pray here today. 
I don't know the standard as it's been against you through your parents. I declare the name of Jesus. Let God cancel that evil order in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, let God cancel that order in the name of Jesus. So I don't know he's here today. Because the Lord said, they have afflicted your past, your now, and your future. In other words, they mark you out among the crowd and say, you, if people are doing better, you, it can never be better for you. When you are celebrating marriage for people, nobody will celebrate it for you. You will only be clapping and celebrate people, listening to their testimony, but your own will not come. I don't know you see here in the house today. Power tormenting your going and your destiny. Saying that they will frustrate you because they have frustrated you before. Let God destroy the arise over your life. When I hear this word, my heart rejoices. Then God said to me, Ogologo Maya. I don't know that song. I think we are going to see. Do you know it now? You don't know it. Hey, sorry. Ibo man. Hallelujah. Okay, can you say it for us, madam? Say it for us. Let me we'll sing it now. Just say it. Ogonogo Maya. Jehovah Bo. Ogonogo Maya. Clap for your pastor now. Hallelujah. There is no difficulties in singing. Do you understand? It's saying that Jesus is the sword or the knife and it's long. I pray for somebody here today. If long life has been the issue where people are using to afflict you, that long life that Jesus is, that Jesus will destroy the name of Jesus Christ. Another song, the song said that, He said, The rock that do what? That never stumble. Sing it one more time. Okay, you may go with it. Sing it louder now. Okay, come Okay, I never seen this come on before. I want you to dance unto the Lord now. I never seen this come on before. Wonder, 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 eh? Wonder, 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 eh? Wonder, 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 
say? Wonder, 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 I never see this come on before. I pray for somebody that your amen will be louder. Every aspect of your life that is being tied down to the mountain of demotion, where you cannot get to. I pray in the name of Jesus. God will pull you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. I want to show you something today. There was something I read from the news. They call it the love lock. The love what? Love what? Love. Uh, they call it love lock bridge. It's in Paris. What does the people do in that place? They lock up their love. Can you see it? They lock up their love in Paris. They will write their name to so solidify their love. But when you see padlock lock something down, so another slide. When you see padlock lock something down in Africa, what does that mean? It means that that person is in problem. They have locked the destiny of that person. There are lots of people that go there, millions of, can you see millions of locks in that place? They are dedicated to marine world. I remember a particular brother that said he had a dream and somebody said to him that they took his manifestation to a particular place in South Africa. It is possible inside river. And this one is lock, is love lock bridge. They call it love lock bridge in Paris. I pray for you. Anywhere your destiny has been locked up to, God will bring you out in the name of Jesus. Hey. When people see padlock being locked to a tree or to a particular place, they will say this is an affliction. Somebody's destiny is locked down. But there are lots of people, they might not suffer for it, but their children will suffer for it. When you go to a place and you lock your marriage, you agree to marine spirit. And they be in charge of this. What a foolish word. Do you understand that? It's a particular deity that the people that started it are doing. Those are the people from the church of Satan. But I remember a particular man in Nigeria went there of this week or this week, went to Paris because love the Chakam and begin to lock himself up. I pray in the name of Jesus. Everything that lock you up to any fountain of problem. I declare in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. I don't know the lock they could call your home. But God is saying he will bring you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tell somebody, say today, now today. Let your voice be louder now. Let your voice be louder. Say because the Lord has spoken that the course is clear. Say so therefore, God will not be silent over your matter. He must do it for you in the name of Jesus. Can I hear you shout loud? Yes. Can I hear you shout loud? Yes. Can I hear you shout loud? Yes. Father, I heard that you speak to me and deliver your children today. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen to me. Today is going to be the day of mysteries. I have a topic to share with you today, which I tied to, it was among them to afflict them. It was what? Shout it very loud and clear. Shout it very loud and clear. Meaning that it was there, or it is there to frustrate their joy. There are a lot of people that are living with you, people that you have grown with, people that you have shared ideas together, but they are the problem you are passing through. Mean that it was among them to promote their sadness. 
encouraging their spoilers to spoil it. They have nothing to spoil anymore. It was here not to help, but to chase away helpers. There are lots of people that will be in a strategic place of life, not to help you, but to frustrate your joy. Anything that is in the midst of you, anything, any man in the midst of you, that have arranged evil things concerning your life, I pray in the name of Jesus, they are right over your life with terminal. Hey, hey. Never to kill, but to cause affliction. Never to console, but to have problems to their problems. It is there, or he is there, to secure the place where their enemy will catch them. There are some people who will be telling their enemy, I don't hold land down. Make una they come. Just like the wife of Samson. Wife of Samson tells her, Samson, he say, Hold on. When I whistle to you, you come. I don't tie hand down. I pray in the name of Jesus. Anything that is in the midst of you, that is afflicting you or programmed to afflict you, heaven will destroy you in the name of Jesus. Hey. I say, heaven will destroy you in the name of Jesus. Hey. It was there in their midst not to console but to increase and add problem to their problems. It is there not to secure, but to expose their strength to attacks. Their financial strength, their marital strength, their uh, numerical strength, their academic strength, their ministerial strength, their logical strength, their normal strength, their confidential strength, the, mini the, the strength of their strong goals. Everyone has strongholds. Strongholds is where you are kept, where you say this is a secure place. And no one can touch it. No one can come there. I want to tell you there is a particular assignment that devil and his agent have. is to afflict people. But from today, I pray in the name of Jesus, anyone in the midst of you to afflict you, I pray, let God destroy their right in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Joshua chapter 1, the book of Joshua chapter 1. We are going to be reading from verse 5 to 7. Joshua chapter 1. Okay, let's take the Judges. Judges chapter 1 from verse 5 to 7. Judges chapter 1 from verse 5 to 7. If you are there, I want to hear you very louder that I am there. Okay, you can see it right now. Let's read it together. One to go. And they found Adoni Besek in Besek. And they fought against him. And they slew the Canaanites. And the parasite. But the Adonibesek flee. And they pursue after him. And catch him. And cut off his tomb. And his great toes. And Adonibesek said. There is God and ten kings. Having their tombs. And their great toes cut off. Gather up their meat under my table, and I have done so. God have requested me, and they brought him to Jerusalem, and there he did what? He died. I want us to take note of something here. Adonibesek was a king in Canaan, but he was a man, sit down and conserve energy. He was a man. They never want any king to reign. Never wanted to hear any name of anyone that is doing well. It was among them, but to afflict them. This is the work of Adoni Besek. Just to afflict any king that his name is going to come. And then you are going to be the king. But here it is. God do something. It was written that he used to subdue them to silence any king and the chief that is coming. 70 kings and prince and, and the chiefs are cut off. He cut their tomb, their, their tombs, and cut their toes. It means that he used legs them for only him to reign. I don't know anyone in the midst of you. It was among them, but to do what? To afflict them. Anyone in your family that said that nothing good will happen to you. I want your amen to be a resounding amen. Go with this word and rise in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. Adonibesek is probably not really personal name to that man. It could be a royal name that they give to king. Do you understand that? 
But it was because Bezek is a, is a place and Adoni is a place. Just the name Adonai. Do you understand? The Bezek have good name is the light is the, is the lightning of God. That is Adoni Bezek is the lightning of God. But a wrong person bear the good name. So it is possible for people that are closer to you, working with you, living with you, people you are feeding, people you are helping, people you are saying, let me take you to the place of deliverance. They are the problem of your life. I pray for somebody that your amen will be louder than every other person. Every, every appearance of evil one in your midst. Let us scatter in the name of Jesus. Hey. As a Lego scattered in the name of Jesus. Hey. There was a particular woman many years ago. I went of a family deliverance. And something happened. God opened my eyes during my prayer section. I saw a particular girl like five years old in the womb of that woman. She has grown all, almost all the teeth. And God said, look at this woman. Look at this baby. And I asked that woman, have you been feeling the movement of a child in your womb? She said, yes. But she's not pregnant. She knows she's not pregnant. Hospital has confirmed that she was not pregnant. But a particular baby was in the womb to eat up any child that wants to grow. But after that visitation, that woman conceived. What happened? That baby was in her womb to afflict her. I pray. Anything in your body that did not allow the glory of God to shine. Heaven will destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. Say today is today. today, is today. Shout it very loud and clear. Today is today. Say it does not matter, does not matter. what my accusers what are holding on to concerning me. Say all I care to know is that my God will fight for me and I will hold my peace. Say amen. I've heard of a particular sister that came to God in me, I think 2008 or 2007. She said, my uncle said, over my dead body will you marry? And I said to her, that was a good judgment. That was what? Was it not a good judgment? The uncle said, over my dead body. And God said, whatsoever I hear you say in my ear, so will I do. And I told that sister, I said, your uncle has already announced his burial season. There are some words that people don't say to children of God. Do you understand that? I say, your fear is this, that because your uncle is a fetish person, and you are scared about that. I said, but listen to me today. What the Lord is saying, I should tell you, is that... Your uncle has announced his burial season. And you know how it happens. I said, your uncle said, over his dead body. And God has already planned to make you marry. I said, one must go for one. Do you understand that? And you know, after two weeks, the foolish uncle died. But you know what God did? God made the uncle to die. And the six are to marry. I don't know so ever that I've announced to you that over their dead body will you do anything good way. They have announced their death. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let their death be announced in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Whosoever that confronted you and say, over their dead body will you give birth. I want to tell you, you will carry your pregnancy and you walk in their graveyard. Hey. Are you hearing that? I remember some years back, one of my father's wife died. My father, uh, my father married just few wives. At least he was able to marry six. So my mother happened to be the last wife. And something happened. The third wife died sometimes many years ago. And a particular brother, one of the, one of the son of my father's first daughter, said and went to bury her grand. She be you. Now you they threaten me. Say I go die. You don't die before me. Do you understand that? You are going to post in the mix where your enemies say you will not get to. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody get that rema. Not everybody that got that rema. 
Who is here? That the trouble are fighting your life are closer to you and you did not know. As a matter of fact, they introduced themselves to you as your best friend. I declare in the name of Jesus, they are right over your life. That they are right will take away in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. There are some demonic informers that will not rest until they see your life becoming worse. They will say to you, say, be you are still eating food. You will not eat. We say you will not get picking. You are still going up and down to get picking. We are saying you will not get a job. And you are going up and down, you want to get a job. For where they have used their life as a collateral. Whosoever that used their life as a collateral to afflict your life, they will die in the midst of their rise in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. Their business is to come closer to you to make people believe that you are in agreement. After they have gotten some information concerning you, then anything they tell people how dear concerning you will become real because they know you are too closer. They are in the midst of you to afflict you. Whosoever that passed through your life that is telling people wrong thing about you, they came into your midst to frustrate your ideas, to steal away your, your potent idea and begin to spoil your product. I pray that I'm out of God will scatter your angels over your life. Amen. Pray this prayer. Say, whosoever, whosoever, shout it very loud and clear. Whosoever, come into the system of my life. Come into the system of my life. I just said, whosoever that come into the system of my life, wise people are standing. Say, whosoever, whosoever, that come into the system of my life. Say, what are you waiting for? I have, I have seen your work and your work. evil deed. I, I command in the name of Jesus. As I clear my house, in the name of Jesus. Oh, you are dying by fire, dying by fire, dying by fire, dying by fire. Aha! Dying by fire, dying by fire. Dying by fire, dying by fire, dying by fire. Aha! Oh, yeah! In the name of Jesus. Aha! Aha! That is the power of God. Let the power of God. Thank you, Father God, over the personnel. Say, hey, man. Hey, hey. Sit down and cause of energy. Say, today, not today. Today, not today. Shout it very loud and clear. Today, not today. I am telling you that God is here to deliver a lot of people here. Amen. I'm going to be giving you a lot of story that will steal your ideas. You will get a better idea. You, you will reason in a different format. Because God is going to do to you what no man can do in your life. Do you understand Amen. that? That is exactly what God is going to do in your life today. So I don't know who's so heaven. That is said to you. Let me get closer to this person. Let me get the secret and the tactics. Listen, Adonis Besak was a king. As a matter of fact, a good man. To people. At least for somebody to be ruling as a king to rule people. What does that mean? It means that it was a good man for people to have agreed to. But getting there, never want to see anybody succeed. There are some people in your family that never want you to succeed. Do you understand that? Each time you are succeeding or your children are doing well, what would they say? They will say that, is it only you? Let's look for a way to do it. There are some people that enter into witchcraft because they want to afflict you. But how do you know that? Whosoever that went into witchcraft to afflict your life, anytime they are fly, that's what, that ogologo of the God Almighty, that's what of God, we call them in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. I say it will call them up in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three say they are pretending in as much that you have released all your secrets to them. Now they have started exhibiting their rights over your life to make sure that nothing good will happen. They came into your midst in a disguised way. But you always seen them that they are good. Can I say this to you? For Adoni Besset to cut the toes and the thumb of 70 kings, it must have used tricks. Do you know that? All those kings will just know that their toe is being cut off, but not Adoni Besset that did it. They will even go to Adoni Besset and report to him. We don't know what happened. Something is just happening. They have a lot of people that is using. If the household enemy want to work against you, they will not come directly to you. They will walk through some people you don't know. Any personality and the demonic personnel that they are using to afflict your life. I declare, let the order of God destroy them. Hey, hey. 
Hear this, beloved. Sometimes ago, maybe like four years ago, one of my daughter and the Lord got wedded because the father and the mother are no more. And the problem is the father enter into fetish. Then the daughter said, went to the father, and the father said, if you marry, I don't care. If you don't marry, I don't care. Then the daughter now ran to me and said, Daddy, what is happening? I said, person where Papa died can still marry. Do you understand that? And the elder brother represent their father. Do you know, immediately they got to the house, first thing they saw in the closed door was Bart. And I said to them, they call me, Daddy, we saw Bart. I said, hope your husband has not come in. Say, my husband has not come. I said, okay, it was from your father. If your husband silly, there will be a problem. I pray for you today. Every evil programming from your foundation. I command in the name of Jesus. Let God destroy that evil program in the name of Jesus. Hey. Yeah. And you know what happened? They started enjoying their marriage. I don't know whosoever that are plot to frustrate your marriage. To frustrate your joy. There are some invisible things that you see the first time you marry. A particular brother, immediately they enter into house from reception. First thing that happened was disagreement and they fought the night of their wedding. You understand that? It was the money programming. When they came, I said, why do you fight with your wife, this man? I said, I'm scared if this marriage will stay. As I'm telling you right now, I said, be close so I can be praying for you, but it's not close. They are not close. They have separated because of the first thing that happened. The foundation of everything in your life have a meaningful thing, I pray. Every wrong foundation in your life that said that we frustrate the joy of God in your life. They said, go ahead and be doing what you are doing. We will be taking it as you are walking. We will be reaping your income as you are walking. I declare in the name of Jesus. That you are right over your life. Die! Hey, hey. Die! prayer. Say, my parental heroes. My parental heroes. A particular sister come in and she said, Daddy, I had a dream and somebody said to me in my dream, the problem of your mother is what you are carrying. Because you are the firstborn. I pray for somebody. Okay, pray this prayer. Say, all my parental heroes. Shout it very loud and clear. I don't like the way you are shouting it. That is fighting my life. Say, enough is enough. Say, Holy Ghost! Say, Holy Ghost! I like the way you are shouting it now. Then you are going to use that temple. Say, all oh, my parental heroes! Shout it, let the heaven register your voice. For sweat in my life! Say, Holy Ghost! Arise! And destroy it! Now, say him, huh? sit down. There are a lot of things to be done here today. And I pray that God is going to deliver us men that are here in the name of Jesus Christ. God says to me, some people that come in your midst, he said, they are carefully to monitor you in the mirror of destiny destroyers. The mirror of destiny. Every destiny has a mirror. Because that is the platform. Then they, they we are very close to know where the mirror of your destiny is located. And they are using that to monitor you. And are turning it the way they feel like. Contrary to, contrary to what God says your life should be. I see God exposing them. I see God destroying them. Amen. I see God scattering them. Hey. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. God said to me, as you pray this prayer, that it should plead their blood on the altar of no mercy. I pray in the name of Jesus, God will spill their blood on the altar of no mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey. Isaiah chapter 7, we are going to be reading from verse 5 to 7. The book of Isaiah chapter 7, we are going to be reading from verse 5 to 7 says, Because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Ramalia have taken evil counsel against this. Say, listen, let it be there. I want you to understand it. Say, because Syria was a nation, isn't it? Syria was what? 
A nation. Uh -huh. Ephraim was what again? A nation, isn't it? And the son of Ramalia was a man. Not a nation. Now it said, I've taken evil counsel against the same. Verse 6 says, let us go against Judah. And verse 8, and let us make a bridge there in for us. And set a king in the midst of it. Even the son of Tabel. Verse 7. Let's say verse 7 together. Let's read it together now. Want to go? Uh huh. I want your voice to be loud and I want to go. Toss the air, the Lord God. Uh huh. It shall not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. Amen. Now, I want you to understand something here. It is not a mistaken thing that Ramania, the name of that boy, the son of Ramania, was called Pekka. That was the name of that boy. So it is not a mistaken thing that this boy was one of the one of the prominent people or one of the lawmakers in Judah. But it was the one that went to call the external enemy. Come and fight the internal war. There are some people that have stayed in your house. People that have eaten with you. You have fed with your money and a lot of things. But they are the problem you are carrying. I pray in the name of Jesus. Go with force them for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ. It was a man that stand as informant. His father was a king in Israel. And because of that name king, he never wanted any other person to rule. Then what is going to happen? Come and fight Judah. Don't forget the blessing of the father of Judah as a man. He said, Judah, you are a man or you are a man that all your siblings will praise for the rest of their life. Judah was a man that after that blessing from the father, God loved him so much. But people begin to say, no way. Do you know what? Because they want to fight against Judah that the Lord has loved. God said, it shall not come to what? Pass. God said, thus here the Lord. It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. This is the word of God for the loved one. I don't know whosoever. They gather together against your life. Say, let's wage war against that person. What is hitting? We hate because of the way he's hitting. We hated her. We hated him because he's dressing fine. Every time we'll be smelling right. Let us destroy his life. I pray in the name of Jesus. Whosoever that gang up against your life. They say, let us frustrate the going of this man. Let God destroy the rise in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. I believe that the son of Ramania must have been the influential man that was a figure in his time. Went to other nations. I have gathered my boys. Went to other nations. I have my boys that are going to help us out. Let's go and fight Judah. It was in Judah. There are lots of people that are in the mix of you to cause problems in your life. They came just to afflict your life, not because they need help from you. I remember some times ago after deliverance, a particular house help swallowed the necklace gold of Ogamadam. Swallow what? The gold. And they were searching for that gold in the house. They searched everything that this house helped her because they didn't give her a chance to go out. But the house helped swallow it. During the deliverance, the house helped started lamenting, begin to shout, I want to form it! I want to form it! And she formated that gold after many months. But the marriage is almost separated. When the husband was accusing the wife, the wife was accusing the husband, they have searched everything concerning the house. And you know what the house have said? The housemaid said, I, want, I was sent to scatter them. Immediately they came and they said they needed a house. And they have decided to employ me at the house. 
I was given a walk from the wise family that you must scatter that marriage. Whosoever that you have a particular house boy or house guy in your house, that has stand as a power to frustrate your home. I declare that I'm a judo. Let go scatter the run. Let go scatter the run. I don't know what they have done. The lady said immediately they said they need house help. They know they are going to employ me. What do they do? Then the family, somebody from the family of the wife came and said, we are giving you an assignment to scatter that marriage. I don't know the assignment somebody has given to you. Or some people came to my ministry and said, the assignment is to scatter this ministry. Some people came to the place of your career and they said, the assignment is to scatter it. I pray in the name of Jesus. They will not see the breaking of today, tomorrow. Hey, hey. Whosoever, as you are gathering, they are saying they will frustrate the joy of your life. I said they will not see the breaking of the day in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, man. Say whosoever, whosoever in the midst of my life, of my life the stand as the problem of my life. Say no, this is enough. Hear the word of God. As I clap my hands, when you die by fire, die by fire, die in the name of Jesus. Aha, oh yeah. Basso poli basso peli basso begedia. La ruka Jesus go ma kudano. Aha. Hoya 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 hoya. Da 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 da. Say hey man. I pray for somebody here today. Every spirit standing to frustrate your joy. Every man or woman standing to frustrate your joy. Everyone will destroy their right over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. Sit down. As a mother of fact, when I started to study about the son of La Raman Ramalia, I discovered during my study that he was a commander of Pekania, the Hamis. The Hamis of Pekania. He was a commander. And he went to other city. Come and destroy Judah. Because of the happiness of Judah. Hmm. A trusted fellow among the nation that initiated war with the language of no peace in his mind against Judah. I don't know whosoever that stand against your Judah. Your God will destroy the right in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. I want to, as you are sitting down, I want you to lift up your hands. As you are sitting down, I want every hand to be lifted up. I declare today concerning somebody here today. Any man within the border of your life that stand to wage war against your life, I command in the name of Jesus. Let God destroy the alive. 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 In the name of Jesus. They said they will eliminate you. But God said to me, merciless angels. There are angels that have no mercy. What they hear is go and kill. They are the angels that God used in the Bible in the days of David. When David sinned to can't censor, they have killed like 70,000 people. They have no mercy. Their business is to go and kill. When God heard her, but immediately David said, Lord, I am sorry. God said, stop killing. But they have already killed 70,000 people. I pray. Among the people that are going to be killed tonight, Whosoever that said that your joy will not be the full one, they will be among them in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Why will you continue suffering for what you did not do? Why will you continue to see good in the life of people? You prophesy good to the life of people, but you never see good things. 
Why is it that you help people and they turn your good to nothing, to sorrow, and they impact many people to come and fight your life together? Why is it that people that you have helped, they are the problem that stand against your life? People that you taught in school, as you are teaching me, they are taking your brain. People that you are saying, let me help you. As you are helping them, they are saying, there is no more help for you. I pray. In the name of Jesus, with the only hunger he may. Go with this word, you are right over your life. Hey. Pray this prayer. Say, every evil commander. Every evil commander. Ah, you better stand up and claim this very well. Say, every evil commander. Every evil commander. In the order of my life. Say, love is enough. What are you waiting for? As I clear my hands. Oh, yeah, die, 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 Every book of my come out in the name of Jesus. Every book of Every book of my daughter. 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 Every book of Say, hey, man. I want you to begin to announce to like seven persons now. Say, every book commander. You are going to announce to them. Say, every book commander. In the order of your life. Say, what are you waiting for? I command in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, die by fire. Yeah, die by fire. Aha. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let it die in the name of Jesus Christ. Every book commander in the order of your life. Let the heaven kill them in the name of Jesus. Let them die, 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 let them die. In the name of Jesus. Every book commander in the order of your life, let them die. Clap your hands very well. Let them die. Let them The Bible says, Thus say the Lord, it shall not sound. Neither will it come to pass. Hoya, hoya, hoya. Thus say the Lord, it shall not sound. Neither will it come to pass. Thus say the Lord, it shall not sound. Neither will it come to pass. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die now. Aha. Hoya, 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 hoya. Let them die. Let them die. Jesus Christ. Say hey man. Hey. I want you to point your hand to this person. Point your hand. Say every evil ruler in the order of your life. In the order of your life. Shout it very loud and clear. Every evil ruler. I like the way somebody shouted that now. Shout it very loud and clear. Say every evil ruler, every evil ruler. in the order of your life. I want you to do it to that person as if you are very angry with that person. Say every evil ruler. In the order of your life. Enough is enough. What are you waiting for? As I clap my hands. Oh, you die by fire. Die by fire. Aha. Oh, yeah. Let them die now. Every fool in the order of your life. I command them. Die the name of Jesus Christ. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die now. Aha. Let them die the name of Jesus but lose a pulling my tools up like a boss already. Die! Die! But we better look at the year. Come on, but you don't look at us. Come on, but you don't look at us. Bible said the stranger will hear your voice and they will run out of their evil places. Say, hey, man. Hey. Look at me and this brother now. Join your hands together. You are going to shake that body very well. Say, hey, every evil ruler. In the order of your life. Enough is enough. You are too gentle. I'm looking for somebody that can be arrogant. I think this woman will do that. 
Look at yourself, eyeball to eyeball. Say, every ruler in the order of your life. Say, I command in the name of Jesus. You die, evil ruler. In the life of this woman, what are you waiting for? Oh, yeah, die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Let them die in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them die in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Wrong person that is the system of your life can cause you pains for the rest of your life. Until when you are delivered from that hero. Where wrong person is living with you, wrong person is staying with you, wrong person is standing with you, I want to tell you they can cause you error for the rest of your life. I declare in the name of Jesus, every wrong person in the heart of your life, I command the heaven to destroy their interest in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Power standing to make your life of no value. Make your life of no interest or interesting. I declare in the name of Jesus, let God destroy their power. Hey, hey. There is somebody here. God said that a silence does not mean that your enemy should take a place of your right. God said to me very clearly, if he's silent, you know what he's doing? He's waiting for appointed time. He's saying that it does not mean that the enemy should take the place of your right. But here it is. He said, he said from now, he's standing as a terrible God which they used to call him in the place of war to fight for you. And give you everything that you have lost to ignorance. Amen. So I speak in the name of Jesus with your louder amen. Every terrible enemy. Every order of Satan in the order of your life. Because the God said it's going to come as a terrible God concerning your case. Let God take over. Amen. Let God take over. I speak to somebody here today. There are anything in you causing your pains to increase. Instead of reducing the pains for you, make it to increase. I pray in the name of Jesus, that thing will die. Hey. Hey. God is the remover of yoke and pain. Ah, mm. He's the remover of problem. Everyone that increases your problem. I command in the name of Jesus. Let them see the danger of your maker in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. As I let them see the danger of your maker in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Let them see the danger of your maker in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. That thing that is in you that afflicts you, that emotional pains, that internal pains, that external pains. Their pains through medical results. Hmm. The pains attached to you in form of waiting without a better result. Psychological pains. The extension of pains and agony in your life. Their pains of struggle of no helpers. You struggle but you never get helper. Their pain of death sentence in your life. Their power that always tends to summon you to the life of lifelessness. I command in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God destroy the hey, hey. Let God destroy the hey, hey. I know that this topic is going to generate prayer and power out of you. It will also generate self-assessment. But one thing God said is going to do in your life today. Say, is there anything to add for God to do? Nothing is too hard. I pray for every power that makes things so hard in your life. That God will destroy that right in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, I want to tell you there is no problem that comes without the involvement of external person. Do you understand that? Somebody in the house must be aware of that problem. So whosoever that is not innocent about the problem you are passing through. 
that is living between your border. That same problem as it's leaving you, it will go to that person. Hey! Hey! I just said, whosoever that is not innocent, and whosoever that is not ignorant about it, they are put in that problem. Do you know that evil people we make sure that something is missing in the house and you begin to look for it together? You believe that? Where, where do you keep it? But they are the one that stole it. Where is this thing? They are the one that stole it. They know where they have kept it. But you begin to look for it together. Some people will put you in problem. They will begin to look for you. Two of you begin to search the place of prayer together. Let's go to that church. Let's go to that church. Let's go to that church. And they are the one that put you in problem. I pray today. If you still have them among you, go and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Hey! Hey! I say, if you still have them around you, go and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Hey! Solution to so many people never require an internal air pass. But the problem of so many people came through internal air pass. Do you understand that? Uh, there's one Yoruba say, he say, if the death within did not keep person, the one from outside cannot keep. So there are some internal people that are the problem of your external problem. And they are within your territory. I pray today, if they are in your family, go with kid them in the name of Jesus. Hey, man. But if they refuse to repent, then God will secure them. But if they refuse, if, if, they, if, they, if, they, if, they, if they have accepted to repent, God will secure them. But if they refuse to repent, the killer angel will kill them. Hey, man. As a killer angel will kill them. Hey, man. As a killer angel will kill them. Hey. Whenever problem is coming, problem must have the assistance of somebody within. Anyone that wants to capture you, that wants to do you the way they don't want, that you don't want, must have the assistance of somebody within. This is the word I want you to know today. So I don't know that person that has stand to give information to your killers. They are killing your bones, killing your flesh, killing your blood, killing your work, killing your health, and cause affliction. And they are still the one that say, we are very sorry. I pray today. Go with scatter the arise in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. A particular woman came here. They gave their testimony last week. And you know what happened? This woman was afflicted. And the problem of that woman was caused by somebody closer. As a matter of fact, she was the one that gave the transport money to mama to come to Lagos from the village. And she was the one that also said that don't go to hospital. No be hospital matter. Immediately the mama landed Lagos State. She was still the first person that called. But as soon as the woman reached here, God mentioned the name of that person that stand as an helper. Whosoever that stand as your helper, but they are the problem of your life. What they have cost you, God will cost them. Hey, hey. As you are coming out of that problem, they will enter into that problem. Hey, hey. Pray this prayer. Say every problem. Every problem. In the midst of my life. In the midst of my life. Say enough is enough. enough, is enough. What are you waiting for? Hear the word of God. I command you the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, die. Die. I want you to shout it very loud and clear. Let them die in the name of Jesus. Die, 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 Say hey man. Hey, man. Mention your name right now. My name is Adeleke Atayoro Izike. Say Adeleke Atayoro Izike. Any problem that is growing with you. That is counting your age with you. Saying that they will frustrate your life. Say what are you waiting for? In the life of Adeleke Atayoro Izike. Say I command in the name of Jesus. Die. Say I curse you. Die. You will not remain. In the name of Jesus, say die. 
Shout louder, hey, man, so that. Hey. Shout louder, hey. Hey. Shout louder, hey. 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 The book of Micah chapter 7 verse 6. Micah chapter 7 verse 6 is, For the son dishonored the father, the daughters riseth up against a mother. The daughter-in-law against a mother-in-law. A man's enemy are the men of his own house. Do you see that? Sit down. Man's enemy are what? They are the men of his own. So there is no enemy that will come from the outside that do not have the permission of somebody in the house. Mukpala sheluru ko Jesu to ba le so adura. Gbogbo ogun to ba ode bi to le ode bi every word that follow you to this place. That said that yes, ogun anayan le ni is a power that follow you everywhere. I come out let God the sword arise in the name of Jesus. Hey! One of my daughters and the Lord God said to me that, have you noticed something concerning this, your daughter? God said, each time she is in the house, affliction will rise. But immediately she leaves the house, she will be balanced. And one day, I was hungry. I told her something. That there is a problem about a particular affliction in your life. I said to me, I said to her, that God showed me something that that thing is growing with something in your house. I'm beginning to pray. I say, if that thing is attached to plate, and God said that thing that they attached that thing to, you cannot leave the house you have now to another house you are going to leave without that thing following you. And I said, it might be something that joined with belt. Something that is attached to plate. Something that is attached to calendar. Something that is attached to flower vase. I begin to mention it one after the other. I want to tell you, devil is so clever in ablating people. I don't know he's here today. Every attachment of your problem, they have the upper hand over your life. Go with this way to the name of Jesus. Hey. Hey. Pray this prayer. Say any problem. Any problem. Growing with my life. Growing with my life. So what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Enough is enough. enough is As enough. I clear my house, oh yeah, die by fire, die by fire. Ah, oh yeah. Die the lemon citrus. Let it die the lemon citrus, guys. Oh yeah. Let it die, 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 let it die the lemon citrus. Frustrating my, my joy. I want you to be militant about this. Say any enemy in my house. Any enemy in my house. Frustrating my, my joy. I want you to say very loud and clear. Say any enemy in my house. Frustrating my joy. Say enough is enough. What are you waiting for? You are not supposed to live any longer. Say I come out in the name of Jesus. Da! Da! Jesus. Say hey man. Hey, man. Shout loud out hey, hey, There is this question of why in the heart of so many people why can't I be settled for once? Why can't these pains just leave me and let me be? Why can't I forget the painful memory of the past? Why can't I have this mercy at once? Why is this thing reoccurring? Even with all my prayers, why is it that the enemy still use another way to attack me? Why can't I get a job? 
Why can't I get married? Why is this pain increases? Why are all the secrets in this house not safe? I want to tell you there is this particular reduce that says that the ears of the king in the farm and the ears of the king in the house, what is the cause of that? Somebody is responsible. Anybody that make you to have question of why, but never promote the, the great answer to come. No matter how friendly they are to you, no matter how close are they are to you, I pray in the name of Jesus, let God scatter their interest. Hey, hey. I say, let God scatter their interest. Hey, hey. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. I say, let God scatter their interest. Hey, hey. Say, anyone in my environment, anyone in my environment, and anything that is in me, Waging war against my life. Waging war against my Say, life. what are you waiting for? What are you waiting be for? as false. Be, be disgraced. Be in, the in the name of Jesus. Da! Shalom, da! Hey, Children of Israel could not win their war because there was a man in the mix of them. As a matter of fact, it was a man that did not allow greater things to happen in their life. Achan was one of the warriors and one of the important personnel of personality in Israel in his days. But also the major problem in Israel. Very important personality, but important problem. Then how do you relate important personality to be the problem of your life? It means that something is wrong somewhere. Well, I pray for somebody here today. Anyone that represents a can in your life will die in the name of Jesus. Hey, Joshua chapter 7 verse 1. The book of Joshua chapter 7 verse 1 says, But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accustings. For Achan, the son of Camel, the son of Sabild, and the son of Sarah, of the tribe of Judah, took of the accosting and the anger of the Lord was kingu against the children of Israel. Who took the accosting? Who did that? Sit down. One man did that. But the nation started suffering from the error of one man. One man. And every other people in that nation, they were suffering from the error of that man. I said something here that whenever problem have an extension, it has become a general problem. That man has extended his problem to the generation. And they are suffering from it. In as much that they could not stand before their enemy any longer. When they want to go to that war, they said to Joshua, that place they are too small for us. Don't worry. We just need few people to go. But they never know that they are going to be disgraced. We just need few people. They never know that somebody have done one wrong thing in their midst. I pray. Whosoever that have done wrong thing that is affecting your life, affecting your generation, and the person is not ready to stop, I pray the owner of the evil law will carry his load in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. I said, that owner of the evil law will carry their load in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Somebody is here. God said, I will expose and destroy the troubler that is in your midst. Hey. You might not know it personally. Might have been struggling for so many years. You don't really know what is fighting you. You don't really know people that, is fight, people that are fighting you. You don't really know where your problem is coming from. Sometimes your problem could be the house you married to or the, or the key that you collected from your landlord. There are some keys you collected that is being taken to the money cover until when you change that key. Do you know what is being done before you enter into the house you are living there are some things that is living in your midst. You know some things that have been done in that house. You know people that come to that place before you release the house to you. They naked themselves and say, whosoever that will live in this apartment, their money will be coming to me as I naked. That is what is going to be clothing me. I've heard a lot of things. I pray. Any problem that you are living with or knowledge to you, God will separate you and that problem in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. It is possible that you are fighting the same person you are revealing the strength and the weakness of your power to. 
Something revealed the secret of his life that must not be revealed. To the lovable wife, adorable wife, beautiful woman. And you know what happened? That woman was the problem of something unrelated to something. Whosoever that stands as your problem that you are growing together. I pray for divine separation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, it is possible that the one attacking you is the one claiming to be the very close friend to you. <laughs> but I pray for you today. That God will destroy every evil one that stands against your life. That kill him to be closer in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. There is one of my daughters and the Lord. She came the first time she met with me. She used to have a best friend that they are partner in business. She happened to be the one that owns the money. But the friend was helping her out. In as much that there is no apartment in the house that the friend cannot enter. Are you listening to this? No apartment that what? That a friend cannot enter. In as much when they have marital issue, the friend used to settle it. By the time the daughter of the, my daughter and the Lord came, I said to her, your marital issue will not be settled because one of your friends that claim to be settling your marital issue sleep with your husband on your matrimonial bed. And I said, Pastor, that time she had not been calling me daddy. That was the beginning of calling me father. I said, Pastor, how can that be possible? I say, in three days, God is going to reveal it to you. And God reveal it. The best friend happened to be the one that is doing, what do they call it now? Siki Siki Bula. With the husband on the bed. I don't know is here. That your friend, your close person, is the problem of your life. You take two cancer together. You pray together. But they are still the one that snap you and take your picture to Abali's home. Why is it that this one is doing well? They are in the mix of you to afflict you. I pray in the name of Jesus. They are told to rise over your life with first rain. Hey. Hey. There are some people, if they did not receive open disgrace, their body will not rest. I declare open disgrace of madness upon their life. Hey. The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 and 15. Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 and 15. That scripture is very powerful. It says, blotting out the adrighting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Verse 15 says something. And having, let's read verse 15 together. I want you to read it very loud and clear. Want to go? And having spoiled principalities uh -huh, and powers. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Meaning that he made them to run mad. So whosoever that says secretly they will be announcing you for destruction. Now openly they will begin to confess their evil against you in the name of Jesus. Hey. There are some people what they do secretly, this secretly is to begin to announce you. Ah, that one. Ah, that person. Ah, uh, this one, ah, uh, that person. But God is saying to me that I should tell you that publicly they'll begin to say what they have done to afflict you. In other words, the spirit of insanity, divine insanity, we possess them in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yeah. And also three persons say every power, every power. that stand against your life. Say I command, let them receive Divine insanity. In the name of Jesus, they are declaring that. Say they will receive divine insanity. In the name of Jesus. Shout louder. Amen. I pray for somebody here today. Every power standing in the order of your life. I command to them by the order of God. They will receive insanity in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. That evil promotion. People that promote you in demonic way. I declare the name of Jesus. Let God fire them with the arrow of madness. Hey. Hey. I say let God fire them with the arrow of madness. Hey. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey.
name of Jesus. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Shout out to him. Hey. Listen to me, beloved. David never knew that the problem of his life and a particular time was his son. Absalom will go to the entrance of the city and begin to brainwash every other person against the father. In as much that he have a lot of team, team up against his father. But here it is. There was a particular man, the counselor of the father turned to the evil counselor against the father. Then he said, I will be the counselor of the son and I will use evil tactics against the father. But the father said, oh Lord my father, turn the counsel of Ahitophel to foolishness. I know what happened to Ahitophel. When Ahitophel knew that his counseling cannot work again, he ran and hung himself. So whosoever that stands as evil counselor in the order of your life, they will hang themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. I said they will hang themselves in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Pray for yourself. Say any item of a like in my life. I just said that whosoever that stands as item of a in your life. Say any item of a like in my life. Your time is up in my life. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Hang yourself. Hang yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Hang yourself. Hang yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Hang yourself. Hang yourself. Yeah. Hang yourself. Hang yourself. Yeah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hey. Hey. In the book of Joshua chapter 9 verses 3 to 25. Joshua chapter 9, verses 3 to 25. I'm not going to read that scripture. Something happened in that place. A particular city, they gathered together because they have heard about the testimony on how God have delivered a lot of city to the land of Israelites. And they enter into agreement together. Let us join them. We are going to meet with them as somebody that need help. But here it is. They came to them for help, but their intention was quite different from their appearance. There are some people that will come to you that their intention is quite different. Their intention is to rubbish your life. Their intention is to useless your life. But they will be telling you, my dear, you are too lovely. I love your cloth. Your hairdo is fine. As a matter of fact, I've seen some people call me father, but their intention is, is such you are my worst enemy. And that must have happened to you. But I pray for you today. Whosoever that have negative intention against you and that they are growing with you, they are in your midst. God will scatter them in the name of Jesus. Hey. Now there's somebody here, God said I should tell you, that person that is not supposed to be with you, that is staying with you, God said it's going to cause fight between you and that person. Amen. Are you hearing me? It's going to do what? That fight is going, in case if you are not ready to let go easily, God said the fight is going to be with stabbing each other. Then you want to separate for life. God said, I've warned you severally to separate yourself from that person. But you are claiming this one is too lovable. This is my best this. This is my best this, but the problem of your life. I don't know who is that person in the house. God will separate you and that person. Amen. I say God will separate you and that person. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, by the grace of God, next week we go in the order of this topic. And God is going to interpret. I have a lot to dash out from this topic to know a lot of things. Then we know where we will go to. Let everyone be outstanding. Then you are going to search your life right now. Begin to see what is not good in you that is growing with you. What you see that is not good that is growing with you. What you see that is not better at all that is making your life to be in a very uh, unstable life. God wants to say to you today, Begin to think about those things. Is it in your character? And then your attitude? Those things that are growing with you. 
Is this sickness growing with you? Those things that you did not like. Begin to tell God, I hate this sickness. I hate this problem. I hate this loneliness. I hate this infirmity. I hate this problem. Begin to say to the Lord. He can hear you. He can hear you. Is he hunger? Is he arrogant? He can hear you. God can hear you. He's listening to you. Begin to say, Lord, enough of this problem growing with me. Do you have any particular sickness in your body? It's in the mix of them to afflict them. Hmm. That thing is there. You are counting your years because that sickness is growing with you. Begin to tell God, take it away. Barrenness is growing with you. Say, Lord, no more barrenness. Cancer is growing with you. Say, Lord, no more cancer. Ossa is growing with you. Say, Lord, no more ossa. Loneliness is growing with you. No man is coming to you. No woman is saying yes to you. Say, Lord, I say no to this problem. Begin to shout no to it. I disagree with this problem. 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 I say no to this problem. I say no to this problem. I say no to this problem. In my family, I say no. Start saying it to the Lord. Say it to God. God is hearing you. God is hearing you. Now you have this opportunity to say it. Mention it to God. The Lord cannot forsake you. He will not forget you. He will not leave you to yourself. Say it to the Lord. He's listening to you. Every evil load that you carry upon your head, God is taking it away. Sickness and that affliction in your life, God is taking it away. Power of resurrection is delivering you right now. Say to God, everything that ever allowed children to grow from your womb, that is allow sickness and fibro to be growing in your womb. Begin to reject it right now. Say, so Lord, I come against it. My business is not doing well. My business will start doing well from today. My marriage is passing through up and down. I reject it today. People ask me with passion. I come against it today. Start declaring the law of God. Anything in me that causes affliction in me. Destroy the name of Jesus. There are wages of destruction paid concerning me. Terminate in the name of Jesus. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 19. Just continue praying. Joel, the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 19, says something. He says, Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn, and oil, and why? And shall be satisfied there with. And I will no more make you a reproach among the heaven. Start speaking to God. This problem has come to an end in my life. I want you to start bringing this prayer to conclusion. 
So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Place your right hand on your eyes. Say my head. Reject rejection. Do it very loud and clear. Say my head. Reject affliction. Say my head. Reject problem. Say my head. Reject evil load. My head. Reject yoke. My head. My head. My head. Hear the word of God. Retain glory. Retain glory. Say, my head retain glory. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Hey. But eventually you are here, you have not given your life to Christ. It's going to be a very deadly thing. God is here to touch your life. I want you to come forward. All this prayer will just be like uh, something that has no value. I want you to come forward. God is waiting for you. He's here to touch your life. Come on, come on, if you are weary, come on, and as the tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling, oh sinners, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You still want to give your life to Christ? There is opportunity for you. God wants to touch your life. God wants to say to you. God wants to give you a new home. God wants to give you a new hope. God wants to say to you finally. Hallelujah. Thank God that everyone here, you are children of God.